Jake here with Envy Composites and today I'm going to walk you through how to properly cut a carbon steer tube on your Envy fork. So we're going to assume that you have taken your fork and measured twice and you know exactly where you want your fork to be cut at. So we have a mark on the steer tube where we want the fork cut. The tools that we're going to need to accomplish this task today are we're going to use a hacksaw. I'm trying to use anything you would have in your garage essentially or you could get easily from the Home Depot or local hardware store. So we have a piece of fine grit sandpaper, a hacksaw with a 32 TPI blade. This was the finest grit blade or finest tooth blade I could find. Um, a 24 tooth blade works as well. Essentially you want as new a blade as possible. They're cheap so it's worth a new blade. Um, a marker which we use to mark the the steer tube length we want to cut, and tape. The tape we're going to use to simply um, help mark our cut line, and this will also help prevent any fibers from peeling off the steer tube. With a sharp blade, this is very unlikely to be an issue, but just for precaution's sake, we're going to wrap that and make sure it's nice and even. Tear that, set that aside. So we have our steer tube taped right below the line where we want to cut the steer tube. And we have our fancy miter box here. So we are going to simply take our steer tube, our fork, set it in the miter box, take our hacksaw with its fine tooth blade, which is brand new and we're just going to cut our steer tube. So line up the steer tube, mark with your blade, and begin sawing with even strokes. Now about halfway through, it's a good idea to take your steer tube and rotate it about a quarter turn, and this will just make the cut a little easier and also ensure that you're cutting through the fibers and not pushing down on them at the bottom of the cut. Okay, and so once we've finished our cut, we can move the saw, remove the cut piece of the steer tube, pull your, pull your steer tube out and remove your piece of tape. And inspect the steer tube for any loose or broken fibers. And looks like we have a nice cut there. Here you take your piece of sandpaper. A nice fine grit sandpaper will suffice. And simply going to sand the edges lightly to give it a nice bevel, clean up that sharp edge. And this will help with the installation of the fork when you're all, when you're ready to finish the installation on your bike. And that's how you cut the steer tube on an Envy Composites fork. Now from here you're going to want to take it to your local bike shop to complete the installation. If you are doing this in your garage and you know what you're doing from here, when you install the race on your fork, it's very important that you either have the block in the bottom of the fork legs or you put this on a piece of carpet when you put the race on when you're hammering. You don't want to be hammering on the dropout tabs or the dropouts of the fork. 